your host, Ann Tipton, here today with Mara Webster. Uh, Mara, tell us a little bit about what you do. Hey, Ann. Thanks for having me. Um, so I am a marketing coach. I do marketing implementation, but I also guide small business owners and entrepreneurs through the ups and downs of growing their businesses in a real, meaningful, and authentic way. That's awesome. So um, you've had some kind of interesting challenges that you've run up against in life, I think, as we all do. Um, but you had some some big ones hit kind of close in time frame, right? I've had a couple of interesting years. Yeah, you can put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how those changes um, have have impacted your business and how you how you run your practice. Um, all right, I'll, I'll I'll go backwards a little bit. Um, two years ago, um, I got a divorce, so suddenly I have two teenage daughters. So that's definitely a big lifestyle change. Um, all the things that come with that, right? A move and you know adjustments all around. Um, and I had been in business about three years at that point, two and a half, three years. And so there were definitely some immediate impacts, but it also had me looking at things a little bit differently. Um, I also had lost my mom shortly before that. And she actually was the primary caretaker for my kids when they were little. And so she kind of kept the pieces moving, you could say, right? Kept life going smoothly. And so that was a big void that... I think when anyone loses somebody close to them, they sort of take stock of life and how quickly it goes, right? How short it really is and how we never truly know. So that combined with being a business owner, right? So just the general life aspect and then owning a business, it really makes you take a look at how you're doing things and the reason you started your business in the first place. So I had started to really focus in, get more efficient, um, and, and look at the ways that I worked with people, right? And made sure that it was always a fit when I was with clients because that time was so precious for them and for me because I had two kids that I also wanted to spend that time with. Um, I think it all really came to a head when I um, was diagnosed with a rare sarcoma about a year and a half ago. And that was probably the final wake up call that was like, wow, okay. You know, like there's, there's definitely some challenges. There's definitely some obstacles, but we need to be really intentional with how we do our work. Um, and when I started Lila Blue, I set out to change the way everyone did marketing, right? Make it more mindful, make it more authentic and real. Nobody's got time for, for spin and stories that, that aren't real, right? No one wants to be sold to anymore. So that was, I think, really when everything came into alignment for me with wanting to run a business and do marketing in a real thoughtful, mindful way. And life was basically like throwing up every possible signal to me that if you're not your true self and you're not taking care of that true self, things are going to go crazy. <laughs> and so how did that impact the way you run your business? Because I know when you're, when you're dealing with illness, when you're dealing with grief, when you're dealing with the grief of a loss of a parent or the grief of a loss of loss of a marriage that can, that can greatly impact, you know, your level of energy and your ability to get stuff done. So how do you work that in? Um, I, I learned that self-care wasn't really a joke. <laughs> um, and business, business takes a hit. I mean, business took a hit for about two years. Um, and I will say, um, you know, in complete, transparency, it probably has just really gotten back on track these last, let's call it three to six months. Mm. Um, and so the, the amount of energy and time you're able to give to the business compared to when, say, I first started and it was 24-7, right? Go, go, go. You can't. When something like that happens, when those life, cha life changes and challenges happen, especially so close together, you are sort of faced with, it's going to dip. And are you prepared for it? And I was not as prepared as I thought I was for sort of the, you know, like the bottom to fall out, so to speak. Um, and so for me, it became really honing in, planning, mapping things out, trying again and not getting discouraged. Um, I think especially the cancer piece, I always, you know, I would get frustrated and be like, it's just not working. Like what's happening? You know, calling in support, Right, really being able to lean on people, whether it's family, friends. Um, you know, I have a great boyfriend. I have a great partner in my life now. Um, he's super supportive, and he also owns his own business. Um, 
And so it's, it's definitely a, it, it's tough to strike that balance, but it's so critical. And once you do, and you find sort of where that works, everything, at least for me, has luckily, thankfully, um, gotten back on track by paying attention, by focusing in, by seeking out help and not being afraid to ask for it. Um, and that self-care piece, taking time out every once in a while. And so I know that you had a story recently where you kind of manifested a retreat coming together all at once. So tell us a little bit about how that happened. Um, this is one of my absolute favorite stories. And I, I sometimes have a hard time explaining manifestation to my clients. I'm like, you just have to do it. You just trust. <laughs> uh, but it is. It's just trusting, having faith. Um, so I've been planning for years where I would bring in small business owners, entrepreneurs, people thinking about going out on their own and bring them together and kind of create the ideal environment. So start the day with um, yoga and meditation and journaling and things that I put into practice in my own life since all of this has happened to really hone in and focus and get clear. And then go into a little piece where we walk through exactly who your business is, right? Ideal client, all that good stuff. It had been my dream for a while to do this in a gorgeous location. And so one day I was like, you know what? This is the year. We're going to do it. Things are tough. We're going to break out of this. And this is how it's going to happen. And I planned it all. Got the red door signing up, found the dream house. And it was so expensive. And of course, on like Airbnb or home away, you pay for the rental up front. Yeah. And so I didn't book it and I didn't book it and I didn't book it and I didn't book it. And then, um, it got down to the week before, and I had a picture of it taped. It's actually still in my kitchen. Picture <laughs> of the house is gorgeous overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, right? And um, I didn't know how I was going to do it. I would go back and forth with my boyfriend. I was like, I just don't know. I just don't know. And he one day just looked at me, and I was at my laptop and working on a couple of things, and he just put his credit card down. And he was like, it needs to happen. He's like, I feel it. This is, this is just, he's certain circumstances worked out for him. He's like, I have the ability to do it. Right now, at this moment in time, this is this this ability may not be in a week, right? It's right now. Um, and what happened? The most magnificent gathering of men and women, small business owners, just it was I can't even describe clearly, I can't put it into words, like the marketer has no words. Um, but it was it was fantastic. And there was a moment during it where the balance, you know, she said, How do you do it? How did you find that balance? And I looked at her and I was like, hey, adventure, <laughs> right? There's balance is what you needed to be that day. And I kind of told her my story at that point. I shared with everybody the story that I just shared with you. Um, and that's, it was just in that very moment, I was like, this is it. And that honestly was the turning point where things really started to pick up. This was back in October. So that's awesome. And that yeah, led to wild business for you, right? Like that's, that's kind of gotten that ball rolling even faster and further, right? It's, I have, since that day, I have made, um, I've doubled my annual income. So Q4, yeah, I know. I looked at my numbers yesterday and I sent like a screenshot of my like accounting uh, dashboard to, to my boyfriend. And I was like, oh my God. And he was like, I can't even, you know, <laughs> he's like, he's like, it works for you. And that's great. He's like, he hasn't figured out the like full trust in faith and manifestation about it. But he also runs a, a, a kick in business. So I'm like, Hey, whatever works for you, <laughs> this works for me. Yeah. Well, and I, I think, you know, for, for the people that the hustle works for more power to them, but I think it's a whole lot more fun and a whole lot easier when you go the manifestation route. So, um, but maybe a little bit of both is, is the happy medium. <laughs> exactly. Right. There's a balance, right? Absolutely. So um, you have generously offered to gift a 90 minute strategy session with you. So to one of our lucky viewers here, um, tell us a little bit about what that is and what they can expect. Awesome. Well, we hop on a Zoom call. We do a video call um, for 90 minutes and we really talk through where you're at and we identify a couple of things. Usually it's one if we want to really dig in, but as many um, of your sticking points, right? If you're looking at a marketing campaign and trying to decide which direction to go, go in looking at programming and pricing and you're trying to figure that piece out as well like we really try and identify dig in 
and come up with solutions for you to get past that and get back to that growth in your business. And I will send a copy of the recording um, if there's any notes that we took along the way. Um, and then we'll stay in touch just to check in and see how you're doing and see if um, things are going in the direction we planned. Awesome. So what, what kind of results have folks gotten from this kind of session? Because it's, I, I think, hard to imagine 90 minutes with somebody who doesn't know my business. I, I know because I know you, I know that that can be incredibly powerful. But for folks who don't know you, what kind of what kind of help can you provide? Um, so the clients that I've done a focus 90 have been launching a new practice and we've gotten them their path, right? Their action plan. Um, other folks who are looking to launch a new program in an already existing business, something they've been doing for a while now. Um, it really gives that detailed um, action plan so that people have those steps, right? I think um, as small business owners, we tend to get completely overwhelmed by all the right? Like we know we have to be on social media. We know we have to have a website. We know we have to be responsive and don't talk about email, right? And then there's this and this and this and this. That sometimes when you're sitting there, and especially if you're new to it or you're contemplating something new, figuring out where to start is so challenging. Just the thought of, I don't know what to do first, right? Does something have to, does the, the cart come before the horse or vice versa, right? What do I have to do? Um, and so we really identify that and give folks a clear path of next steps. Um, get them sorted out, take away the overwhelm and give them something that's concrete, and very clear. Yeah, I think it's amazing when somebody can take an outside perspective of your business and step back and look at it because it can be so hard to see the forest for the trees sometimes. So I'm so I'm, hard. I'm sure that whoever wins this will um, get a ton of value from the session. So if you're interested in entering to win, um, there is a link in the description here. So just click that link and you can enter to win. And there are different ways that you can get entries when you follow um, myself and Mara on our various social channels. So please go ahead and click that link and you'll be entered to win. Thank you so much for being on today. It was such a pleasure to um, introduce you to my audience and to um, get to know a little bit more about your story and how you serve. Uh, well, thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Have a good one.